When Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans in 2005, both devastation and debris surrounded the city, not only destroying lives, but destroying jobs. One very successful party planner had to reinvent herself. Her name? Simone Bruni. And she didn't have to look far to find her new career. It happened in her own backyard. Come with me now as we hear the fascinating story of how she went from being the belle of the ball to the queen of debris. I'm here with Simone Bruni, the demo diva in the Ninth Ward. Hi, Simone. Hi, Mary. I've seen you everywhere from billboards to magazines to newspaper <laughs> stories. Such a fascinating story. Start from the beginning oh, and share your story. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Uh, basically, my story is that I was an event planner in New Orleans for about 10 years. I was selling the city of New Orleans to meeting planners and in the hospitality industry. Um, I lived in Lakeview at the time of Katrina, so I was flooded. I lost my house and my family lost everything also in the storm. And so I looked around, I had opportunities to leave New Orleans and I was really sad. I, I thought, I, this is my city, this is my tragedy, these are my people and I wanted to be part of rebuilding New Orleans. Um, standing on my front porch just watching all these men with their equipment drive up and down, I thought, no, I've got to find my niche, I've got to create it and uh, it happened to be demolition. And I'm sure there were neighbors that came calling that you didn't even know before the storm and everybody needed help, so yes, they turned to you. They did. Um, it was really an interesting time because I knew nothing about demolition, I knew nothing about equipment, much less the insurance uh, process, but I sold trust and I told my neighbors, I'll help you, I will trust me to help you, and that's why I kind of gained a little foothold with my Lakeview neighbors. And you certainly had to be a quick study, as you say. I mean, to learn everything from insurance forms to, you know, the city hall, the ins and the outs, and the whole nine yards of demolition service. Yes. Learning to navigate city hall was quite a challenge. And then to learn the parishes, St. Charles Parish, Jefferson Parish, St. Bernard Parish, each government office had their own way of permits and surveys. But uh, I learned it, got the process done, and. It's a service that we offer as insurance claims. Well, Simone, what's so unique about you is your marketing strategy and the color pink. How did the <laughs> color pink ever come about? You know, I looked around and it was uh, really seasoned men in demolition and I had to set myself apart from the pack. Um, I targeted women because I thought, well, who would trust me? Who would give me a chance? And I really wanted to set myself apart and say, all right, maybe these ladies will trust me. And I went with that hot pink branding. What did the national company say, though, when you called and said, you know, I need pink dumpsters and I need pink equipment? What was their reaction? They laughed. They, they, uh, they're like, are you sure? I had actually bought my first equipment behind me, um, the Smashing Star, uh, from Volvo. And so I specified that I'd like her to be painted pink. And they, told, they tried to talk me out of it at first, saying that it would depreciate the value of the machine when I went to, to resell. But I think in the long run, they realized, wait, this was a master marketing idea. And uh, it, it turned into a national hit. And even, you know, not, well, not only nationally, but locally, you know, we're so conservative in a way down here, like contractors are at least. And for you to tell the contractors you're going to have pink equipment on their premises, <laughs> you know, how did you do that without comic ridicule? I think at first uh, the guys uh, sort of did take me as a joke, um, but you know, once they realized that I delivered a valuable service, that I really stuck behind my product, and that um, I was sincerely invested in the city, I'm a local, um, I really started to get credibility, not just from homeowner contract contractors that build homes, but from the big boys, from Durr and some of the bigger companies, they've, they've trusted me with some of their business. Well, demolition now is a big business and you must have a lot of equipment. How much equipment do you have? I have uh, two excavators and I have a fleet of dumpsters um, that from all sizes. I only have 12 dumpsters, but it's a big compliment for you to tell me you think you see me everywhere, but we're still small and we're steadily growing. Simone, another pink question is, how do the men feel about wearing pink hard hats or do they wear pink hard hats? <laughs> no, they won't wear the pink hard hats. I've, I've tried to get them in, a, in pink shirts, they won't even do that. But they'll wear the hot pink lettering and the black shirts. But that's as far as I've gotten them. And then they get rid of, some of the guys are like, oh, I'm not going to drive that pink machine. But now my operators all fight over driving this one. That's great. They like the attention. What services do you provide for people out there that don't know about the demolition business? We started in flooded properties, residential, homes, and slabs. 
but we have now gone into commercial properties. We're now doing selective demolition in commercial buildings, as well as historical de deconstruction, which is basically dismantling a home and salvaging all the wood, the bricks, things that are architectural elements that are valuable to the city. I hear you have a connection with Brad Pitt, and we're here in the Ninth Ward with the Make It Right Foundation. Tell us about that. Um, I have been selected by Make It Right. We're here on one of their properties now that they're moving over to the street. Um, I do all the demolition for Make It Right, preparing their lots for the building of these fabulous houses. Simone, some fascinating things I'd like to share with the audience is that your salvageable materials for Demo Diva are actually uh, part of the Rebuilding Together Foundation. Yeah, everything that um, any architectural element that comes out of a house, whether it be crystal doorknobs, a corbel, a cypress flooring and floor joists, um, I deem that as extremely valuable. We call in Rebuilding Together. They've been my selective de uh, demolition crew, and I donate everything to the Rebuilding Together store. I'm really committed to New Orleans. I'm committed to taking these beautiful things that come off of our homes and recycling them back into the city where they're affordable for locals to go in and buy and place in their homes again. I don't believe in just filling a landfill. It's been a fascinating story. Thank you so much. Now, how do I become a demo diva? Well, you've got your hard hat and you've got your work boots. Now you just got to sport it. Simone Bruni, you're <laughs> such a queen and such a diva, all wrapped up in pink. And more than that, you're real New Orleans. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs>